picture a computer and you are certainly not thinking of something like this. This is an iPad. And no, before you ask, the iPad cannot do everything a laptop can do. But here's a question. Does it have to? What I like to think is the iPad is not a laptop replacement, but rather an alternative which has started to finally make some sense. Starting off with what most computers are really used for. Web browsing on the iPad is now a lot closer to the Mac with iPad OS. Most websites function perfectly, but some do run into problems. And it's gonna be a while before we get to that desktop class browsing on the iPad. Computers sometimes are also expected to play nice with other devices and the iPad for the most part doesn't. Some things work but some don't. It can work now with external drives. You can plug in a mouse, a keyboard and even a display. But it's nowhere near the connectivity offered by say a laptop. Besides making it work with other devices sometimes requires a lot of work. But the reason to reconsider your computing kit is the chip inside the iPad Pro. Performance of the A12X Bionic is off the charts. It's faster than some core i7 laptops out there. Put simply, no other computer comes close to the iPad. And where all this performance really shines through is in tasks such as video editing. It handles 4K footage without dropping a frame and exports faster than computers that cost double the iPad Pro. Besides that, editing video is a lot more fun with touch than a mouse. And the same can be said for many other tasks like photo editing. Part of the reason it works so well for these is the display. It's not only gorgeous to look at but incredibly accurate with support for wide color gamut. but ProMotion is what really sets it apart. Varying the refresh rate 120 hertz results in some buttery smooth animations. It is basically what makes every other device feel just a little bit laggy. As far as computer screens go, this has to be up there on the list. With rounded corners, it also makes for a more relaxed and a more inviting experience. And you add to that clear and loud speakers and you have the best device for content consumption on the go. And the battery doesn't play spoil sport and will last more than a full day of use. This combination of best-in-class performance, display, and battery life is what makes it worthwhile to consider your usage and weigh your options. Another major aspect with the iPad is the portability. Taking your computer wherever you want is more liberating than you may think. It is like carrying a notebook, but not like that notebooks. 
As for the ergonomics, this 11-inch iPad Pro is really pushing it when it comes to using it in hand. Besides, the draw with the iPad is that it may not be as capable as some computers, but it is the most versatile. It can work in ways most computers can't and go places where few can. The multitude of ways you can use iPad starts to almost outweigh the negatives that come with it. And besides all of that, it is such a pleasure to use every time you pick it up and no other computer comes close to that. It turns out that getting rid of the mouse and interacting directly with touch also brings the whole experience a step closer on to a somewhat more personal level.